Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers in the other part of the world. Today we are going to make color lily. Although they are called as lilies, they are actually not true lilies. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. Today I have received my parcel from Card Finney and my pan pastel has finally arrived. I have heard a lot about them and today is the day for me to try them out. First of all, we need 3 pieces of 18 gauge wires. One is longer than the other two pieces. Tape them together and wrap them with some green crepe paper. Cut a piece of yellow crepe paper for the flower center. Wrap the extended wire with the yellow paper and some hot glue. Make sure you have leave at least 1.5cm space on the top. Then we need to trim the top of the flower center into a slightly pointy tip. Add a drop of hot glue at the bottom of the flower center. Trim your 90 gram beige crepe paper according to your template. Remember to line up the template guide with the grains of the paper. Use some paper clips to hold your papers together and cut accordingly. Now we need to colour the petals. Use your brush to add the nude pastel onto the paper irregularly. Don't forget to do the same on the other side. Then I add some pale pink pastel to the empty area. Next, magenta. It is a very strong colour. I would suggest to add the pastel subtly. Tap your brush on the edge of the container to tap away the extra colours. Add your magenta from the edges to the middle, so the strongest colour will stay on the edges. Clean your brush before we switch to the greens. Colour the bottom quarter of the petal with the light green. Because I do not have a dark green pen pastel, I am just mixing my own dark green colour with light green, leaf green and black. Add a very small amount of the mix to the bottom of the exterior side. Expand the inner side of the petal. Add a bit of yuho glue to the bottom of the flower center. Place the flower center about 1.5 cm above the bottom edge. Hold the bottom of the petal and twist onto the stem. Pull the side of the petals up. Add some yuho glue to the left side of the petal. Overlap the right side and hold it for a little while. Use the end of your tweezers or paintbrush to expand the bottom of the flower so it looks like a bowl shape. Wrap the bottom with some green crepe paper.
Shape the petals gently. Use a paintbrush to curl the petals. Give the overlapping petals a little trim if necessary. We are going to blend the joining point with the remaining dark green pastel. Brush the pastel up from the bottom. Final touch with the magenta. Colour lily tends to have stronger colours on the edges. Use a small brush to give the flower a little bit of details. It should look like this. Now we are going to work on the white colour lily. Cut your petals out of the 90 gram white crepe paper. Colour bottom third of the exterior side with the light green. Use the same dark green mix to colour the bottom quarter of the petal. Reconstruct this flower in the exact same way. This is our white colour lily. I would like to make them into a tiny bouquet, so I'm going to need a bit of greenery. Trim some leaf green paper strips. Trim them into any thickness. I'm using a mixture of 5 ml to 10 ml. Bend the leaves over so you will have lots of loose loops. Add some yuho glue to close the loop. Then we can put the flower bundle together with a wrapped 26 gauge wire. You can also use a ribbon instead. Put your bouquet together in your own way. We are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our templates and DIY kits are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.